welcome to Georgie classes. Okay, today we are doing one more problem on rank correlation. Rank correlation. Already we have done two problems on that. Correct? So one when ranks are given. Another one when ranks are not given. So in this question you are solving a problem on where ranks were repeated. Where ranks were repeated. How to solve the problem that we are doing from this question. Okay. So this question or this topic, rank correlation topic, it is there in the class 11 or first PUC, whatever you call. Class 11 statistics you have and economics also you are having this rank correlation. Other than that, you are having this rank correlation in BCA also. You are having in BCom also. You are having in BBA also. MBA also one topic is there. So it is useful everywhere. Got it? So hope all of you understood this one. For the first time you are watching my video, please like, share and subscribe it. As of now, let's go to the question. See, here is the question given to you. Already we have done this kind of question, so I am not going for much explanation about this. They gave you already the data. You have to assign the ranks. Okay? Ma'am, how will I know whether ranks were assigned or not? Because whenever I have checked the answer scripts, many times I used to see already ranks were given. Again, they will assign ranks to that and again they will be solving the problem. It will go totally wrong. Okay. So, how will you know whether ranks are given or not given? Such big numbers will not be there if ranks are assigned. Okay. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in between it will be there. If ranks are already assigned. If ranks are not assigned, you can see the data like this. Got it? So, he gave you the data of X and data of Y. So, now I should assign ranks to X and Y. So, when I am assigning for X, I call it as Rx. Ranks for X. Okay. So, what is the highest number? 65 is the highest number. I call it 1. What is the next highest? I think it is 57. 2. Next highest is 48. So, you have to cross check. Is there any repeated or there? No repeated. 48 is 3. Next one 40. 4. 40 after 33. 5, next, 24, 6, next, 16, you have 1, 2 and 3 places. 16 is there in 1, 2 and 3 places. So, which rank I am going to give to them? I can't give continuous ranks because I will not be give, doing, I am not justifying other 2, right? So, I am not supposed to give. So, where it is there? 3 places it is there. So, how to fix the rank? Till 6 we have completed 7, 8, 9. Right? 7 plus 8 plus 9 divided by 3. So you will be getting 8. So this we will be assigning for all the 3 places. 8, 8, 8 and 8. Understood? Once again I will explain. What are the 3 ranks will be given over there? Till 6 we have completed. We can give next 7, 8, 9. So, 7 plus 8 plus 9 divided by how many? 1, 2, 3. Divided by 3. I got 8. So, we got 7 plus 8 plus 9 divided by 3. That is 8. So, 8, 8, 8. So, 7 over, 8 over, 9 over. The next rank will be 10. So, 9 is the last one. I am giving rank 10. Now, let us assign ranks for y. So, when I am assigning ranks for y, I call it as ry. So, what is the highest number? 24 is the highest. 1. Next highest, 20. 2. 20 after 19. 3. And after that, 15. 4. Next, I have two thirteens. There are two thirteens. 4 after 5 and 6 I am supposed to give. So, I am, what I am doing? 5 plus 6 divided by 2. I got 5.5. 5. So, for both of them, I am giving 5.5. 5. Now, 5 is over, 6 is over. The next rank will be 7. So, for what we will be giving next rank? After 13, what is the next highest? 9. So, I will get 5, 6 is over, 7. Write down 7. After 7, you have 2, 6. You have 2, 6. So, it should be 8 and 9. So, 8 plus 9 divided by 2. You will write 8.5. So, 8.5. And 8.5. Got it? So now the last one 8 is over, 9 is over. Here it is 10. Understood? So whenever ranks were repeated, what is that rank and what is the next rank that you have to cross check? 
and then do the addition of that how many ranks you have added divided by that number then you will get that rank so the next one will be leaving these two three ranks and then you should move on to the followed rank clear so now we should find out what is d d is equal to rx minus ry rx minus ry so 3 minus 5.5 how much you will get i think it is 2.5 next 5 minus 5.5 Minus 2.5. Correct? 5.5 minus 3. How much you will get? Minus 2.5. Then 5 minus 5.5 minus 0.5. 4 minus 1. 3. 10 minus 8.5. 1.5. 8 minus 4. 4. 8 minus 10. Minus 2. 1 minus 2. Minus 1. 6 minus 7. Minus 1. 8 minus 8.5. Minus 0.5. 2 minus 3. Minus 1. Okay, now let us find out d square. So d square, this value into same value. 2.5 into 2.5. and 1. Cross by way once again. What is the total? Now do the total. What is the total? 41. The total is 41. D square. Summation D square is equal to 41. What is N here? Total number of ranks. How many we got? 10. 10. Correct? Now we have to substitute in the formula. What? Write on the formula. Rank population is equal to 1 minus 6 into Summation d square plus m q minus m divided by n q minus n. 1 by 12 into. Correct? So this is the formula. 1 minus 6 into summation d square plus 1 by 12 into m q minus m divided by n q minus n. Okay? This is the formula. What is this m value? What is this m value? How to find out that m value? This is the very important one. Everyone will be getting doubt on it. What is this? Why everywhere it is keep reset? Changing the value. How to take that value? Okay. For that first let me write down. In the x series. Check the x series. How many ranks were repeated? Rank 8 was repeated 3 times. So in X series, rank 8 repeated 3 times. So now what is important here? This 3 is important. Now move on to the, in the Y series, which rank is repeated? 5.5, so first 8.5 is there, no? I will complete that one. 8.5 repeated Two times. So this two is also important. Again in the Y series, five point five repeated two times. Five point five repeated two times. Now check it out. What is important? Three times, two times, two times. Only that we are going to take. Now let us substitute in the formula. Rank population is equal to one minus six into summation d square forty one plus one by twelve into first one 3 3 cube minus 3 plus 1 by 12 into this one 2 cube minus 2 plus 1 by 12 into again 2 cube minus 2 divided by n cube minus n 10 cube minus 10 understood 3 times so 3 cube minus 3 plus again 2 times 2 cube minus 2 again 2 times if you have one more rank that is also repeated again you will write if it is 4 times repeated 4 cube minus 4 got it that is the way you will be writing now 1 minus 6 into 41 plus 3 cube 27 minus 3 27 minus 3 plus 1 by 12 into 2 cube 8 minus 2 plus 1 by 12 into 8 minus 2 
divided by 1000 minus 10. Now the value 1 minus 6 into 41 plus 24 divided by 12, 2. 6 divided by 12, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 divided by 990. Now how much you will get? 1 minus 6 into 41 plus 2, 43, 44 divided by 990. Now what is the answer? 6 into 44, 264, right? 264 divided by 990. So now 264 divided by 990. What is the answer? 0. 0. Point? Uh, 2667. 2667. Now what is the final answer? 1 minus 0. 0.2667. Plus 0. 0.733. 733. Got it? Here what is the main thing? These and all already you have done. In this if ranks are repeated, how many ranks are repeated? That plus divided by the number you have to take. Then you will get the rank values. And substituting in the formula. How many times it repeated? If you write down, it will be easier for you. First rank repeated 3 times. So, I have written 3 square minus 3. 2 times 2 square 2 cube minus 2. 3 cube minus 2. And again 2 cube minus 2. After that, substitution is just normal. Okay. Please use the calculator. Then you will get the correct answer. So, this is the rank correlation. So, with this, we have completed this question. Hope all of you understood right. If you are having any queries or any doubts, please mention in the comment channels. Okay, so if you like this one, please like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you. Bye-bye.